Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about my new toy, man. This is the Rocat Torch. I got quite a few Rocat products here, man. I use my uh, Vulcan keyboard here. That's the Vulcan Pro keyboard I use. I like using the Rocat uh, Burst Pro mouse when I'm not using my Logitech mouse. I just kind of switch back and forth, but I love this mouse, man. And then I like using my Rocat uh, Elo Air, I think it's 7.1 surround sound, wireless uh, Bluetooth headphones. Those things are pretty daggone awesome. And they have a great mic on them, but this torch right here, when I saw it hit the market, I was like, man, I hope Rocat's sending this over here. And sure enough, Rocat sent this thing over here for me to check it out. And right now you're actually listening to it. Uh, I'm, I'm recording on it right now. Let me just minimize this. I'm actually recording this video on it right now. So you're gonna be able to hear me handling this mic as we go through this video and going through its settings and stuff. You're gonna be able to hear me handling it. So right now it's at about mm, maybe 60% uh, mic gain. So I'll just slide this little gain slider up to max. And as you see me sliding up and down, you see that little LED on the side? It's actually on both sides of the front of the mic. Can you see that? And then it just kind of tells you where your gain is. That way you just know on the fly without having to dig into your settings while you're live streaming or gaming or whatever. It's kind of, it's really nice and convenient to have because you just need to know what's going on. Right now I have it in whisper mode and that way you can kind of talk in a conversational tone and it's just going to pick up more of your voice uh, because let's, let's face it, man. A lot of y'all still live with your mamas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a family at home, but you know, let's just say you streaming or, uh, you know, you gaming online, you talking trash to your homies and, and your mom comes banging through the door because you talking too loud. You need to talk at a conversational tone. And that's what this whisper mode is for. You don't want your mama busting through you know ruining your, your your show you know what i'm saying while you're live streaming but if you're a grown man and you got your own space and it's, it's, it's a good time to live stream and you won't be disturbing nobody you can go ahead and put it on cardioid mode and you see how it changed colors there so you got cardioid mode which is a green led and that little cat right there lets you know what's up and then you turn it back to whisper mode it turns a little like a what is that a blue cyan blue or whatever and then this is let me go ahead and let you hear it in cardioid mode, which is, it's picking up directly. It's just grabbing my voice and bringing it directly to there all in one track, okay? But if I want to, I can click it over to stereo mode, uh, and then you're gonna get a left and right channel. So if I come over here, maybe it's kind of switching sides as I talk. We'll have to see when I, you know, you know, when I process this video, if that's gonna be true stereo or not. Uh, as far as picking up noise from the back, let me put it on cardio it again. So picking up surrounding noises from the back. So I'm just gonna turn it and talk from the back of it. That way it kind of lets you know how much noise you're gonna be picking up from the back. But once I turn it around, you'll understand that my PC is not ultra quiet. It's relatively quiet, but it's right here. Like you just had a frame, but you can see it or you can hear it, but it's not being picked up by the mic. And that's awesome because this mic has really good, um, what do you want to call that? Like it just doesn't pick up a lot of background noise, which I really like because you don't want to have to go through a bunch of post-processing or having all that craziness going on. Like, you know, if my dog's over there eating his bone or something. I don't want that in my, in my audio, but also it has its own built in pop filter. So when I go through here and I'm yelling and talking trash and stuff, it's not going to be having those plosives and you don't have to have an additional, you know, pop filter in front of the mic. So uh, going back to the bass, which I really, really like, I like that this thing has a bass with a control panel on it. A lot of, you know, mics have basses, but they don't have a control panel. You get everything you need, man. You got this USB-C to USB-C cable going from the back of the mic into the bass, which, you know, fires it up and communicates with the bass. You get a USB to USB-C, I'm sorry, USB-C to USB-C extra long cable because you can unscrew this from the base then hook it onto a boom arm then you can have that boy that bad boy reaching out to your face looking all professional gaming like and then of course you can just have it on the base and then you run this USB-C to um, USB-A cable to your PC and that's how you get this thing working as far as I know it only works via usb i don't think you can do anything else but if we slide around to the back of this bad boy you're gonna have let me let me change over to this mic now on the back side of it you're gonna have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there which is nice to have so you can monitor audio and stuff like that but then you have the the switch and a button so the switch is actually going to um 
control the levels of sensitivity for your mute switch, your, your no touch mute switch, which I'll show you in a second. And then you have your LED illumination button right there. So you can kind of toggle. Can you see, let me see. Yeah, you can toggle that on brightness and medium brightness and high brightness. And then let's get back to this switch right here. So I'll switch back to the mic audio. Check, Check this out, man. This is super fly. Down here, you can't see the, I'll put some B-roll up for you. So down here on the base, you see where it says live? You need to know when you're live, when you got a hot mic. So when you got a hot mic and you're talking into this thing, it lets you know you are live and on the air. Because what if you need to burp? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what if you need to burp? You know what I'm saying? You need to mute that. So you just wave, wave your hand across there like that, and it turns red to let you know it's muted, and it has a little mute icon right there. But if, you, if you're not, you know, into the high tech stuff where you can just kind of wave your hand over there and unmute it, then you can just kind of uh, press this button right here. So you just press, and it turns red. That's the, that's the volume button. Press that volume button, and it, and it mutes the mic. As you can see, I've switched over mics. And then you just press it again, and then you're unmuted. But that sensitivity switch on the back, it will actually let you kind of just, you know, maybe you don't want any accidents is what I'm really trying to say. Because, like, what if you're screaming into the mic? Like, you're screaming into the mic, you're all close, and your lip is big. You know what I'm saying? Or you got a lot of hot air coming out your mouth. You don't want to accidentally mute the mic. And then your people don't know how much trash you're really talking because you've been muted the whole time. <laughs> but it's good to know that this LED, uh, the LEDs will actually show you whether you're muted or not. The LEDs tell the full story of this mic. So anything you're doing on the mic, there's a corresponding LED color for it. Like I just showed you the blue, the green, and I think it was purple. Yeah, the purple for the stereo mode. Mute is red. And, you know, yeah, I really like this mic. As far as the quality of it, this is a high quality mic. I'm, I'm feeling nothing but quality here within the bass and especially in this microphone with this with this grill and just the build quality is just awesome, man. Top notch. I really like Rockat products, man. Like I said, I use a lot of them in my daily life as far as my workflow and stuff. And that says a lot because I'm a YouTuber. Uh, I can afford the products or the, the utilities I want to use. And I choose to use the uh, the Rocat products, which in my opinion says a lot. Because when the camera turns off and I get all these products in here, you know, it's like, all right, I got something already that's good, but now I want to use this one. And to see these Rocat uh, uh, keyboards and mice here and the headphones and stuff, to see it here in my daily use, I would say that says a lot. What do you guys think? I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do like Raw Cat's products. And the ones that I've been using so far have been great and trouble free. And now I'm gonna have to put this mic to use, man. I'm gonna have to play, uh, what game? I've been playing a new game, man. It's called uh, Dirt, Dirt 5. I really like that game, man. Dirt 5. <laughs> I can't drive for nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like banging up other people's cars in that game, man, and just going fast. Because if you ain't first, you last. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go fast. <laughs> All right, man, y'all get up out of here. Y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, y'all still here? Look, man, the video's over. But if y'all still want to hang out, I'm getting ready to head over to my podcast. It's called Talk To Me. The podcast nobody asked for, but I'm giving it to you anyway. So go ahead and go on your phone and go in there and, and uh, yeah, click subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then go to the, uh, the Talk To Me Clips channel and hit the, yeah, the notification and the subscribe. Yeah. All right, man. I'll see y'all when I get there. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?